students i hope everyone of you is doing great i'm your english teacher and today we are going to discuss unit number 1 of grade 8 as you know at our school we teach the syllabus of grade 9 in grade 8 so here we have since textbook board english book of grade 9 we on page number 2 Unit number one, the last sermon of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. The last sermon of the Holy Prophet is also known as Khutbah Hijratul Wida. All right, and what is peace be upon him, dear students? Peace be upon him is a Durood Park. In Urdu, it's called. Allah Pak un pe rehmat e nazil farmaye and in english may allah bless him so let's begin reading hazrat muhammad peace be upon him the prophet of islam was born in 571 ad at makka here ad is used what is ad dear students actually there are two events the one is bc and the other one is ad bc means before the birth of jesus christ and who is jesus christ hazrat isa alaihi salam and ad ad means after the birth of jesus christ means after the birth of hazrat isa alaihi salam it is also called as isvi sal isvi The word Isvi is taken from Hazrat Isa alaihi salam. Clear? And what is Mecca? You all know Mecca is the center of Islam, where Holy Kaaba is situated. He belongs to the noble family of Quraysh. What is Quraysh? Quraysh is the name of a family, the surname of a family. Like nowadays, we have different families as their surnames are Qureshi, Sumro, Sayyid, etc. So Qureshi was the surname of a noble family. Our holy prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last of the prophets, as it is our part of Iman that our holy prophet peace be upon him is the last prophet of Islam. No other prophet would come after him. The Quraysh used to worship idols and did not believe in one God. They used to worship idols. Bud parasti karte the wo, and they did not believe in one God. They had several gods, multiple gods for their multiple purposes, for their multiple wishes, such as a god for health, a god for wealth, a god for success. and etc that what happened hazrat muhammad peace be upon him asked the quraish not to worship their false gods he asked them not to worship their false gods false gods means idols now dear students you can see gods the gods here is starting with small g and here g was capital in god why dear students if we are talking about false gods the idols we use small g but if we talk about the real god the creator who has created the entire universe the almighty allah so we use god with capital g understanding my point all right He told them that he was prophet of God and asked them to worship the one and the only true God. Now you can see he told them that he was prophet of God. Iska matlab kya hua? Unhone bataya ke wo Allah ke nabi the. No, he is the prophet of Allah and he will always remain the prophet of Allah. Dear students, Here the sentence has been started in past tense. So the sentence started in past tense cannot be changed in present. We would continue it in past tense. 
He told them that he was prophet of God and asked them to worship the one and the only true God. All right? Most of them refused to accept Islam. Why? They thought that by preaching Islam, he was against their gods and their ancestors. Ancestors means forefathers, means Abba Wajdad. They thought that by refusing their forefathers, they'll go against their forefathers, their ancestors. They opposed this new faith and their bitter opposition caused the Prophet, peace be upon him, much agony and a lot of trouble. Now what is agony? Agony means extreme physical or mental suffering. So the people of Quraysh opposed this new faith, new faith of preaching the one and only true God, Allah Almighty. They opposed their new faith and they got bitter. They got very brutal with Holy Prophet and created a lot of trouble and hindrances for them, for a Holy Prophet and his companions. Their opposition to Islam became so fierce and terrible, fierce. Fierce means cruel and brutal. So their opposition became very cruel, brutal and terrible that he had to ask the believers to migrate to Medina. Migrate. Migrate means to move from one region to another for a purpose to persist residence, for living over there. So they intended to migrate to Medina. For example, for explaining migration, we can even say that our forefathers left India and lived in Pakistan. It was their migration from India to Pakistan. Clear students? In 622 AD, the Prophet, peace be upon him, himself accompanied by his faithful friend, Hazrat Abu Bakr, migrated to Medina. This event is known in history as the Hijra. So what is Hijra and migration over here? The migration or journey of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and his followers from Mecca to Medina in 622 AD is called Hijra. From that was actually zero Hijri. That period was zero Hijri. And from there, the period of Hijra started. The Hijri calendar started. And then onwards, the next year was first Hijra. Second year was second Hijra, right? And that is called Hijri calendar. And that event is known as Hijra in the history. So dear students, that's it for today's lecture. I hope you've understood the first paragraph of unit number one. And the lesson was the last sermon of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And now it's time for assigning you your home task. Now it's time for assigning you some home task. Your home task includes only two questions. Question number one is, study the following words carefully and look up their meanings in the dictionary. The words are, number one, belong, number two, opposition, number three, bitter, number four, agony, number five, trouble, number six, fierce, and number seven, terrible. Question number two is, make your own sentences. Word number one is belong. Number two, fierce. Number three, against. Number four, faithful. And number five, migrate. You are supposed to write these questions. You are supposed to write down the meanings and sentences on a clean piece of paper. Click a picture of that and send it to school WhatsApp number. I'll catch you in the next video. Till that, take care and Allah Hafiz.